focused in, man. We were like Shaolin monks or something when it came to music. You know, we were focused. We were locked in from the very before the beginning, I guess you could say. Techno brought an intellectual theory to dance music. Michael James comes to my house. He wants to, he's a friend of mine from around the corner. He just wants to, wow, you got keyboards. I just want to sit down and make some music. Can I do that? Is it okay? Yeah, fine, go ahead. He starts to mess around with the piano. He plays piano wonderfully. And he's playing this ballad thing. He did it for, I don't know, hours and I sequenced it for him and he split. I, I just listened to it and I heard one particular part out of it that sounded really interesting. So I, I just did an edit uh, and I just looped this one particular part of the sequence. And uh, from there, I, I just went on to do strings. I was scared of strings. I was scared of that track when I did it. I was completely naked in my house for a whole day. Just walking around my house naked, looking out the window, you know, at, the, at like this cityscape and just listening to this track. I don't know, I was tripping. But I, I never did drugs, but I felt like I was on drugs, man. There was a guy in Chicago, Chicago one time that said to me, he said, uh, listen, he was in a record shop. He said, I don't know if I should dance to that or if I should waltz, you know. And that was the reason it was there for me because uh, I was trying to put, I was trying to show the sort of sophistication of dance music. Strings of Life classic made by someone who had a vision of, of the future and a sense of, of what the machines could do if you allowed them to rock in this way. Euphoric yet futuristic, you know, yet Detroit techno. It, it truly was a masterpiece. And you couldn't really categorize it either. It, it wasn't house, it wasn't techno, it was just Derek May. I said, oh, well, if you can imagine craft work and George Clinton stuck in the elevator with one keyboard between them, you know, and you got George on the left and you got Kraftwerk on the right. That was the concept, you know, as if they're stuck in this elevator for hours and when it finally opens, you know, out comes this sort of, you know, funky metal smell, you know, and the keyboard is sort of flipped inside out and, you know, that was it. <laughs> 